Hello everyone. For this video, I would like to welcome my students in ICT and then PPL. And everyone who will be viewing this uh, video, I would like to share with you our tutorial on the use of Microsoft PowerPoint application. So we shall be creating a presentation in this tutorial video. Uh, the following are our activities. First is, of course, we shall be adding a content to our presentation. Second, we shall be applying animation to the content. Third, we shall be adding a slide transition. Fourth, we shall be saving our presentation as a video. So fifth, we shall be saving it as a JPEG file or a JPEG format. And then sixth is we shall be linking our slides to another slides of our presentation. So without much ado, let me show you a sample presentation that are that contains link of slides to another slides in a presentation. Let me share with you this sample presentation. Okay, so this is a sample presentation I had created to, to show you how links uh, work in a certain presentation. So uh, this is the what to go home uh, slide of my presentation. And this are the content of this presentation. The second slide contains Antorium uh, plant, okay, with a picture of a plant and then with a shape, okay, that has a back uh, text. Uh, we also have this what we call orchid in our third slide. In our first slide, we have another plant that's named to be welcome plant, and the fifth slide uh, contains Montera plant. Okay, so if you notice in each slide from the second slide, uh, I have here the what we call back button. I will be using this uh, uh, shape to go back to the home slide. That's also true with the rest of the slides in this presentation. So this is the home slide. Okay, so I'll show you how the links work in this presentation. Let's uh, run the program or let's uh, slide uh, show or view it in a slideshow view. So if I click at this text here, okay, the name of uh, the plants, I'll be able to go jump into that specific slide of my presentation where uh, this text is linked, okay? That's, that's also true with the rest of the name of uh, plants here. So I'll click at the Antorium. If you notice, uh, the, the, mouse arrow, the mouse button appears to be an arrow. But if you try to point it in this text that has a link, it, it, it shows you a hand. That means the text has a link and there is something in it if you click. Let's click the Antorium. Okay, so I'll be able to go back. I, I was able to jump to this certain slide of my presentation. If I'll click at the back button, I'll be able to go back to the first slide of my presentation or the what we call home slide. And then if I click the next text, I'll jump into this slide, then go back, click back, welcome plant, then back, then Monstera, then back. So this is just a sample a result of one of the activities that we shall be learning in this uh, video. Okay, so without much ado, let me uh, share with you this blank presentation, okay, where I, which I'll be using no, in my demonstration. So let me share with you under window. Okay, so if you can see, this is already a sample, a blank presentation no, of a PowerPoint. But uh, I would like to, okay, so click to add first slide. So if you open or create a new presentation, you can uh, use control N as a shortcut key. Okay, so suppose I'm already in this slide, I'm in this uh, presentation, in an open presentation, and I want to create another presentation, okay? All I have to do is to click file new, okay, here. Then I'll be able to create another blank presentation. Or if you want to use a shortcut key in creating a new presentation, you can use Control N, okay? CTRL plus N. Or you don't have to really type that plus sign, but just have to type first the Control key, then N, okay? Example, Control N. I'll be able to create another presentation, okay? 
So this is already the, the latest new presentation that I had uh, created. So if in starting with a presentation, you can either uh, the first select the layout you want to apply. It depends on your preference or on the design that you want to apply in your presentation. But if you want to watch the to select or if you want to start from scratch, you can just make use of the blank presentation or blank layout. And that's what I wanted to create or to apply. Okay, then you can see a slide that is blank. And since I wanted to have more slides in my presentation, uh, I will be adding new slide no? by using the new slide button here in this home ribbon. But if you want to use a shortcut key in creating another slide or new slide of a presentation, just have to, con to select or press Control M. Control or CTRL, then M. Okay, then you'll be able to go and create more slides of your presentation. Okay, let's uh, go back to the first slide of our presentation. So in starting with the presentation, of course, we are to uh, first add a content, okay? So suppose on my topic for today's, uh, I want to assume that I am a kindergarten teacher and I want to have a lesson on different colors, okay? That I'll be showing that my, my, my pupils with color, then they'll, they'll be identifying you know, that the name of that color. So I'll be creating a presentation for them. So that's supposed to be that, that that's supposed to the topic that I'll be creating. So I'll start creating now. First is I want to add a text, no? So you can either use text box or word art in adding a text. Okay, so suppose I want to add or use a word art. So colors. Okay, so just highlight the text if you want to edit the, the format. Okay, then do, you can either increase the size of your text or change the color and so on. Or add effects. Okay, you just have to explore the, the buttons here that will allow you to enhance the appearance of your text. So I just have to go to the home tab or home uh, ribbon. Then I would like to increase the, the size of of my text and if you want to change the the font you can just uh, select here okay so i'll be adding the shape and add a color name in it and the background is the color of the particular text or name of a color so i'll be using circle so this is supposed to uh, I want to have five colors in this uh, first slide. I want to uh, describe five uh, color names or five colors in this uh, first slide. So to add text, you just have to type the text right away. Okay. So suppose I want to name it with color red. I'll change the background later. Okay. Then tap P. I will copy this you can copy the shape or object by right clicking then copy oops okay uh, again click right click copy then right click paste okay paste using the with with all the format with the same format paste here if you paste using this uh, uh, feature it will allow you to produce another shape but of course in picture format and of course you cannot edit the text if you do or paste it as picture okay that's why we are to use this uh, format a paste option so to paste a certain copy the object we can also use a shortcut key and the shortcut key for a copy is control again control c and if you want to paste it using the shortcut also, the uh, form, I mean the, the shortcut key is control V, V as in victory. Okay, then control V, control V. Okay, so we already have five shapes. Then we'll edit the content. Okay, we'll edit the, the I mean the, the format of our text. So to edit the, the font, suppose, I want to increase the font, just have to click. You can choose the size here, or you can click increase one size here. It depends on your preference. If you want to change the color, just choose the color here. Suppose I want the color white. <clears throat> you want to change the font, then of course you can change the font here. 
Okay, so suppose um, I want to have, I'll change the font. I want to have the same format of this, you know, all throughout the rest of the sheet. Okay, to do this, you can also do this, what we call format painter. I'll copy the format from this object, then apply it the rest by clicking the shape to which I want to apply the copied format, okay, to paint the format. Okay, so again, format painter, then click, format painter, then click, format painter, then click, so that you will not do the editing again and again to, to each uh, shape of your content. Then I'll change the text, red, green, Okay, I'll just uh, fit the, just the size. Blue, I, yellow, then orange. That's it. I'll change the background. You have to just click the object, okay, to change the background with each with with the color you know that you need in that uh, particular shape so this this will be red this will be green okay shape fill green this will be blue is it blue this will be yellow and this will be orange if you cannot find here that the color that you want to apply just have to click more of your colors here you can just uh, use any uh, color tab here if you want to look for the color you want to apply. So I have here. Now the next thing I'll do is to copy the shape and paste it no, to the rest of the slide, to the slides. I want to contain the slide with each color, okay? So the second slide will be red. I'll paste here the red shape then I'll copy again the green shape and paste it to the third slide then the blue shape okay again copy then paste go back copy or control c then paste control m to produce another slide then copy control c then paste control v okay so the next thing I'll do is to increase the size of my slide. Okay. Increase the, the slide. So what is the size? It's 115. So I'll choose here 115. Or you can add, you can also type the size of the font here. Okay. Increase, then you can type here the size so that you'll not anymore click on click again and again on the increase font size button. I like control A to select all, okay, to select the text. Then type just type right away the font size, okay. So you can just adjust if it doesn't fit at the sheet. Okay. One, 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 five. Sure. Reduce. Okay. So the next thing we'll do is to apply uh, uh, an anim animation to our content. So suppose uh, upon slideshow, we wanted that each slide i mean each uh, object will appear one by one to the slide okay as it is slide as it is uh, displayed or viewed in a slideshow view okay so to do that you can click at the object where which we want to add an animation by clicking uh, animation uh, ribbon here then to apply an animation you have to select here okay the animation you wanted to apply Okay, so in applying animation, there are options also as to when you apply or when you want the animation be executed, okay, by the application. So it's either in entrance or if you upon entrance of uh, an object, 
for a content upon or during emphasis just want to emphasize that the object or that content or exit okay how will it how will that object exit in a presentation okay during the slideshow view okay so those are if you want to apply motion path okay in your uh, content you can also choose motion path here so i want to apply an, uh, an animation upon entrance of the object so i want it to appear to, to float in that way okay so that's it then apply float in click or fly in oops float in or you can also apply other styles like zoom grow and turn okay fly in then float in so upon slideshow view okay upon slideshow view i have to click the mouse before it uh, executes or it animates click again click 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 but if you don't want to click again and again every time you want to show an animation or display a certain content of a slide you can just automate the animation okay how you can adjust the uh, timing here okay if you can see there is this what we call start uh, button here which is by default set to on click okay option so if you want to automate the animation upon special view it will just appear or enter to the to the screen just have to select here the after preview so it means upon slideshow it will automatically uh, display or animate or appear okay so click after animation or after previews okay so if you run the slide it will automatically appear okay next if you also apply after previews to the next uh, object that means after the display of the first object which is red the green will also appear Okay, we'll also float in or fly in or zoom. It depends on the kind of animation that you had applied in its entrance. Okay, so let's try to apply after previews or, okay, so let's try again. So red, green. So if you want to apply also same timing to the rest of the shape, you just have to click all of them, then click after previews so that you will not do the uh, applic the app application of the same uh, timing to the rest of your objects after previews then run the slide that how it works okay so you don't have to click if you just wanted the spontaneous animation of the content of your slide okay so that's also true with the rest of the slides if you want to apply that that's also what will happen okay you just have to choose the timing so with previews after previews are are on click okay if you want to wait for the click or if you want that the certain content will wait for the click before it appears because maybe you still have to discuss the content okay so you can also set it to uh, click or on click okay so that's about applying animation for exit Example for colors, I want this uh, text to exit, okay? When, right? Later. So, zoom, that means it will disappear by zoom, okay? Uh, effect after maybe depends on the timing that you have a set. So, when will exit, okay? So, since we had here, that means it will, we have to click before that colors will exit or upon presentation, upon slideshow view. So to also automate the exit of the color, it means after the last uh, uh, animation here, you want the color text to exit, you have to change its timing into after previous also, okay? Or if you want it to exit after or together with the display or entrance of the orange uh, sheet, then you can set it into with previous, okay? Let's try. Run uh, slideshow view colors, no? Red, green, blue, yellow, orange. If you notice upon the entrance of the orange uh, shape, 
the uh, colors, uh, content, or name also disappeared or exited no, from the screen or from the uh, slideshow view. So that's the effect of the animation that we had just applied. So I'll just set it into complete. So the animation, you can also change the, the duration okay, of each animation by changing the time here. Okay, or if you want to have a delay, that means before it uh, animates, there is this what we call delay first, or depends on how many seconds you want to apply. Okay, so that's it. Next, so we shall now applying slight transition to our presentation. So when you see slight transition, how will sl your slide change? What is the effect as the slide changes from one slide to another slide? So to do that, we have to go to transitions uh, ribbon here. Then this is, I would like to uh, slide show view this presentation first. Okay, next, this is transition. Okay, if you can see as I click the mouse or, or move or click the arrow down to switch to the next slide, okay, the content changes. But if you notice, there is no effect or no animation no, upon change of the slide from one slide to another. Okay, so if you want to have this what called dramatic change of your slide to another slide, you can apply slide transition. So to do that, we can choose here the transition uh, templates. So you can either fade, the slide can either fade to change into or to switch or shift on the slide. You can push it up, wipe, split, reveal, cat, random, sweep, uncover, cover, flash, and so on. There are lots of effects here. You can just fracture. Okay, so it depends on your uh, preference. But of course, uh, don't make it too, uh, uh, too, too, don't add too many transitions. Ano pangs? Oh. Do pwede ba lang ka withdraw sa ano kuno? Okay, so let's don't add too many and um, two different transition, too many different transition in your presentation. Okay, you also have to uh, practice uh, slide show, the slideshow view if that uh, transition really goes well in a presentation. If not, then better maybe choose just one uh, slide uh, presentation uh, design or effect. Okay, so let's now choose. Uh, I, personally, I prefer to just have one presentation or one transition in my presentation. The whole presentation will have just one uh, transition. Unless uh, the, the, the next content is a different content or topic, okay? But uh, of the same topic, I am just using the same transition in a certain presentation. Okay, so let's try to use uh, push app or push uh, presentation. So if you want to apply that same transition to the rest of the slides of your presentation, just have to click apply to all here. Then that transition effect will already be applied to the rest of the slides of your presentation. So let's check. That's a slideshow view. Okay. This is the slide one. And if I'll click uh, the, the colors exit, then in switching to the next slide, uh, there is this what we call push transition, if you will notice. Okay, next, green, blue, yellow, orange, and so on. Okay, so that's about uh, transition, okay? But if you want to have a different transition for each slide, you can just change it. Cover, flash, uh, curtains, and so on. Cheat, random. Okay, so let's try to. So that's about transition. Okay, so our next uh, activity will be uh, saving the file as video. So if you want to save a file as video, you can maybe if you want to create an album for your uh what for whatever content okay you want to create a video 
containing images of your travel, you can also make use of the presentation. But of course, I'll just be using this uh, content you know, as a sample in saving the file as a video. So if you save this file, okay, save, this will automatically be a, a PowerPoint presentation, if you notice. And then the default name is presentation three. If, if this is a new slide, then the third new slide that I have uh, created, then it will have a presentation three or presentation one or presentation two, depends on the, the, the number of times you have uh, executed or click the, the new slide uh, button of your presentation. Okay, so that's it. But I will not save it first as a presentation. Okay, I'll just uh, save this as a video. So to save this as a video, you have to click file here. Then click either export, okay, or save. You can save as, no? Export or save as, something like that. If you export, you click at the create a video. Okay, then specify the quality of that video. You can have ultra HD, full HD, HD standard, and so on. So suppose I want to have it save as a standard uh, format or the quality is standard. Then uh, create a video, okay? Then name a video. Let's say colors. Click uh, save. Where did they save it? Okay. <laughs> So if you can see, creating video colors, that the format will be automatically MP4. So this is already saved. So I save it here, okay? Click colors. This is already the video that I have saved earlier. Okay, next second slide. Then we have third slide. Then we have Parang three seconds yung kanyang gap between slides. Okay. And then we have parang five seconds. The default uh, timing that the presentation has is five seconds for every slide if you are to save it as a video. Okay, then orange. Okay. So that's about the, the slide as a video. Okay, it will have this... Uh, appearance in your thumbnail in your files uh, thumbnails next if you want to save this file as a jpeg by format as a picture format you can either save it as a png files jf file or jpeg file it depends on the file uh, format you want this uh, presentation to be saved as so suppose i want to just save this single slide as a picture i just have to click at the file uh, but uh, menu here, ribbon here, then click save as. Since it is already saved as a video, I want to save it in a different format and click I'll save, click save as. Then specify the location where you want it saved. So in this PC, in the ICT training, then change the save as type into the format of a picture you wanted to apply in this presentation, in this particular slide. So I'll choose the JPEG format. You can also choose JF or PNG format or any other uh, format. Okay, picture format. But I prefer to use JPEG. The name is color. Then save. Okay, you'll be prompted as as uh, as how as how you want the, the presentation to be saved. Okay, you want to save the whole presentation of JPEG format. That means if it has five slides or six slides, the six slides will be saved as a picture. Okay, separately. Uh, as a separate uh, images so we'll have six e different images in a certain uh, folder but i want to just see the first slide that's why i'll choose the this one button not all slides okay this one okay so this uh, slide is already saved as a picture so let's check it out so this is already where did it say this did i save it so i'll go to the desktop Oops. So since, okay, so since I, I think you cannot see it because I save it in a different window. Okay, anyway, so I'll first uh, show 
my whole screen so that you can see screen okay share so let's open now the present the, the file that i have saved okay so it is color okay so this is where i saved that uh, jpeg file so this is the, the the jpeg format of that slide that I, that i have saved in my presentation if i'll open this then it will show me the the picture format the jpeg format of that slide okay it's this one so that's it so i'll go back share again that the presentation that i had uh, presented that i have uh, used in my demonstration earlier so this is already the presentation so that's about saving the file or the presentation as a uh, jpeg so now let's do the linking okay though so we'll we'll be linking na the second slide to the first slide okay all the slides down will be a save to the first I and mean, we will be linked to the first slide so we'll be linking the red uh, shape here to the red uh, slide the green shape here to the green slide and then the blue shape here to the blue uh, slide and so on and so on okay let's start now so to do the linking it has there are lots of ways it depends on your preference okay but to me i use the right click then hyperlink okay then click place in this document because we wanted to link the slides in this presentation or within this presentation only we don't have to go out to another file in our computer to do the linking we, that means it will not be linking another file okay to our presentation but it's just within the presentation so please in this document then click slide two because that red that this is the the red shape be linked to the red uh, slide okay so, and that is slide two you can see the content of the slide two or, or the the slide which you linked here okay then click okay button next click green in linking you can also click insert okay then click link it depends on your preference so this is another way in linking because i use the right click in my first uh, sample of linking but if you do uh, use the insert button you can click link here then choose the slide then click okay because automatically you don't have to it is already uh it is already true since we had already click the place in this document earlier in our first linking activity then automatically this will be the the default no option for as to where you want to link the the next uh, linking activity or actions you have so click slide three then click ok because the green uh, object will be linked to the green uh, slide which is slide three so next blue so link then slide four click ok or you can right click then hyperlink then slide five okay right click click hyperlink then slide six and click okay okay so that's how the linking uh is okay in a powerpoint now let's try to test our link click around here or slideshow button here to slideshow view our presentation okay so since i wanted to try the linking that i had uh, performed earlier if it is really linked okay the red will display a red uh, slide and the green will display a green slide the blue will display a blue slide and so on okay so if i click at the red uh, uh, shape it will jump me to the red slide okay okay so since i, I don't have go back button yet here all I have to do is to use a shortcut key that will allow me to go back to that certain slide of my presentation. And that is, you first have to type the name of the number of a slide, then click enter key. Okay, if you don't have the, the Wii or the, the go back button, okay, the link that will allow you to go back to the first slide or to the home slide of your presentation. So all I have to do is to type one because the, the, the home presentation is slide one. One, then enter. Then I'll be able to go back here, okay? next green so this is a green slide 
one enter to go back to the first slide blue okay then one enter to go back yellow then press one enter so this is slide one then the last color orange click okay and then one okay meaning the key one look for the key one in your keypad or in your key uh, keyboard okay in your yes then one enter enter key so that you'll be able to we'll go back to slide one of your presentation so that's how it works but i want to add a back button so that i'll not anywhere be clicking or using the shortcut key to go back to the home slide okay because maybe if you have many links later you find it difficult to memorize all the home slides of the presentation if they're just saved in a single presentation okay kasi ako in my course i contain all the topics as much as possible in the same presentation so magaabot siya ng mga 100 slides that's why i find it difficult to memorize all the the, the topic okay for me to be able to go back to that particular first uh, slide of my topic that's why i'll be using the back button okay so to add the back button it depends on your preference as to as to text or object no what kind of content you want to use or object you want to use in your back button so suppose i want to just use the shape arrow back arrow something like that but uh it is the symbol of back or home something like that or go back so then you can add text or you can just leave it that way okay then just maybe change the color you can also add text if you like then to do the linking okay i'll link this uh, object this arrow to the first slide or the slide one so to do that i'll right click then again apply link hyperlink then slide one then click okay after which okay you can also rotate this if you want to okay or something like home right the the symbol can also signify a home okay okay so since i want to also apply the same uh, link to the rest of the slides i just have to copy this in copying that includes already the format or the link so go to the next slide and paste okay don't use this one because it will just paste the the picture format of that uh, copied object that's why I use this. Okay. Control V to paste. Shortcut key for paste. Control V, shortcut key, key, uh, key to paste. Okay. So let's try again. F5 to run the presentation or to view the presentation in slideshow view. The shortcut key is F5 if you want to run it from the first slide. Okay. F5 but key. Okay. Yes. So I want to try the linking. Red. Red slide. Then back. Go back. Green. Back. Yellow. Back. Orange. Back. Blue. Okay. And back. Okay. So that's it. I hope you've learned how you are to make use of a uh, Microsoft presentation features, maximize it, and make an interactive presentation for your class or for your presentation in work or in whatever it is that you want to uh, show something like interactive or uh, with this uh, visual uh, presentation at a part in your future careers okay so that would be all for our microsoft uh, powerpoint lesson i hope uh, i can help you more about your other concerns in the use of this application okay so thank you and god bless everyone